What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right, so it was announced, I believe, yesterday that there's the three finalists for the league's MVP award uh, are going to be uh, James Harden of the Houston Rockets, Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks, and LeBron James of the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, those, These three guys will be the finalists for the MVP award. Now, of course, over the last couple of years, they've changed it. Uh, the league MVP used to be announced sometime during the, who, when, when was it back in the day? Like, it was sometime in May, I believe it was. Sometime in May. I know back in the day it used to be announced right at the tail end of the semis or the beginning of the conference finals. Sometime around that period. Which I think is how it should be. But now they wait, you know, until June, I believe. But because of the extenuating circumstances, I don't know if they're going to wait until the end of this season to announce uh, the MVP. I'm assuming it's going to come after the regular this, this regular season uh, ends. So, I don't know. I, I didn't read into that. I mean, look, I think it should be Giannis. You know, he's the only one of these three that doesn't have another superstar with him. James Harden has played with, you know, over the past couple of years, Chris Paul. And now he's playing with Russell Westbrook, who is a big part of their success. And, of course, with the Lakers, I actually think that AD is their best player. And most people who are rational will tell you that AD is their best player, even though the media wants to tell you that it's LeBron James. AD leads the team in most statistical categories except for, I think, assists and maybe some other category that favors LeBron. But at the end of the day, you know, the media, the way that they, they tell their story, tag their storylines and, you know, the way that the season has unfolded and the, and the propaganda out there, people are going to, Think you no know, people think that LeBron is a legitimate MVP candidate. I'm not saying that he's not one of the best players, but I, I just I don't know. I'm not sold on that. Giannis once again has carried a outside of him marginal team to one of the best records in the NBA. So, you know, if you take Giannis out the equation, I'm not sold if Milwaukee's a, a playoff team without him. I think they're, if they are, they're like an eighth seed. They're not good without Giannis. If you take Giannis out of the, off the Milwaukee Bucks, they, maybe because of the weakness of the Eastern Conference, maybe they will be a playoff team. But if they were in the West, nope. So, to me... I think he's the most impactful out of these three. <clears throat> yes, James Harden scores big. Yes, he scores a lot of points. Um, but he does not, unlike Giannis, and supposedly like LeBron does, he doesn't make his teammates better. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't. Um... Scoring points should not just be the be-all, end-all for winning that award. You know, if that's the case, then look. In 1972-73, Dave Cowens won league MVP. But if you're a stat junkie, if you're a guy that goes for numbers... You would have said, well, Nate Archibald should have won it. That year, he averaged 34 points and led the league in assists and scoring. The only season anybody's ever done that. But he didn't win the league MVP award because the then Kansas City Omaha Kings were not a really good team. Now, Houston's a better team than uh, the team Nate had, but James Harden has help. You know, so at the end of the day, it's not all about just points and, and 
you know, padding your numbers and all that. So yeah, James Harden, what he does on on a game to game game to game basis, can be impressive. But at the end of the day, also, you know, I, I I'm just not a huge fan of his game personally. LeBron James is play, having a magnificent season for number seventeen. Um, you know, although it has to be said that Kobe Bryant was also exceptional in his seventeenth season until he. Uh, ruptured his Achilles, and he was never the same player. Um, but to me, LeBron James obviously is not the same player he was. Uh, he's great, but I think the media wants so. There's so many people in the media that want that storyline of LeBron winning another MVP award, which would tie him with Jordan, which is what they want. And of course, they want him to win that championship, which. And Nick Wright's eyes would tie him with Mike. <laughs> so it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? These these made up, you know, narratives. Well, in my eyes, you know, the, the Cleveland championship was worth two. And then this one was worth two. <laughs> well, okay, Chauncey Bills got three then. In my eyes, when the, the the Pistons beat the Lakers, that was worth two and a half, three. So, Chauncey got three. Maybe he should be in the Hall of Fame. Get out of here, you fucking idiot, Nick Wright. So, to me, yeah, I think Giannis should win it, man. But, you know, if Giannis was to win uh, the league MVP, he'd be a two-time league MVP. Which would push him up, you know, the all-time listing. Um, I don't know if I would have him top 50 yet, but he'd be knocking on the door um, to be a two-time league MVP. And he, if he were to also win Defensive Player of the Year, which I don't think they're going to do, but if he was to win Defensive Player of the Year, he would be only the third player to do that. To win both league MVP and defensive player of the year. Other than Michael Jordan and Akeem to dream Elijah one. So that's amazing company. And when you look at LeBron, uh, excuse me, when you look at Giannis, you know, if he was to do that and, you know, the amazing numbers he put up 30, 29 or 30 points a game, 13 rebounds, five and six assists, you know, two blocks, you know, steal, Shooting over fifty five percent from the floor, I mean his numbers are incredible. He's he's just a to me, he's just a notch below Kareem as far as his overall uh, dominance is concerned. He's just a, like a notch or a notch and a half below Kareem, and um, you know you look at his PR. I know Max Kellerman always brings it up, but his PR is impressive. You look at his player efficiency rating. And you look at it, and you look at, you know, how each year he seems to get more dominant. Like you look at his numbers, and you think this guy can't get any better. And then the next year he comes back, and he's even better. Um, but if he is able to at, at least develop a, a nice little, you know, I know people get on about the three. If he's just able to develop a little nice little twelve foot jumper then Giannis will become unbelievable. You know, and I, I'm talking about Giannis because nobody else is going to because on ESPN they only talk about the two other guys on this picture. But Giannis, and, and they want to criticize Giannis and make him into being, you know, something that he's not. But at the end of the day, um, I think that Giannis is the true MVP, but I wouldn't be surprised if they give it to LeBron. But, you know, at that point, if they do give it to LeBron James, then my expectations for him go through the roof, okay? Championship or bust. I don't want to hear no, you know, well, it just wasn't his year. I don't want to hear no excuses. If he wins the league MVP after all the cheerleading that you guys done for him to give him that award, it's championship or bust. And if James Harden gets it somehow, uh, I think he's the dark sheep in this. Then I expect, you know, 
more often than not, James Harden-esque performances in the playoffs. I'm not saying every game he has to drop 40, uh, but, you know, I, I want to see him dominate against a great team. I want to see a series, for instance, you know, he's playing up against maybe, let's say, the Lakers. Even if he loses, if he averages 34, 35, 36 points, you know, shoots 42, 44% from the floor and 38% from three, you shut me up because he was James Harden. But if he has another one of these, you know, series where he averages 25 and shoots 34% and 17 from three and he has his hands up, you know, why he didn't get the call and they get their ass blasted. I, I don't want to hear this guy no more, man. I don't want to. I'm going I'm, I'm to go off like I did before, but even worse, because I don't want to keep hearing about this dude every goddamn season. And he does nothing in the playoffs. So that's all I got to say. Tell me what you guys think.